That's the sound of yet another snowy Monday in North Jersey. Merchants who would rather be selling were stuck shoveling instead. There is no business. It's really dead. But you can't really blame the people because I wouldn't be here if I didn't have to come in and legally shovel my snow. <laughs> so, so you're here because of the law. Exactly. She is not alone in that feeling. Many of her fellow merchants kept their doors closed today. The normally bustling streets of Ridgewood were virtually empty, except for the plows that were removing the snow that had scared business away. But some of these merchants actually have a high-tech backup plan that Mother Nature can't touch. We have a lot of online sales, so we've been here kind of shipping those out today. So the weather doesn't interfere with online? No, because we have an online shop also. But you don't have to go far to find some people who don't only tolerate all this cold and snow, they embrace it. All you have to do is to take a short ride to the extreme north of Bergen County, where on top of Camp Gaw Mountain resides one of New Jersey's few skiing areas. Well, we got off to a little bit of a slow start. The month of December was very warm. We weren't able to make snow, all right? but right after Christmas, it came in like crazy, and we've had snow and, and cold weather ever since. The lift started running at noon, and a parade of skiers and riders were there to celebrate six inches of new snow, the very same weather that many others dread. No school for the kids? That's right. <laughs> I hate school. You hate school? No. But snow days cost money. The storm triggered another round of delays in our mass transit. It also caused scattered power outages around the Garden State, and plunging temperatures combined with freezing rain made our roads even more treacherous. The good news? Tomorrow should be sunny. But if the forecasters are right, we've got two more snowstorms headed our way, which some people are actually prepared to deal with. We try to stay as productive as possible and kind of stay open just in case because, you know, last week we were expecting that snowstorm um, and it didn't really snow that much. So a lot of schools were closed for the day and it's easy to just get into town and come in and shop like it's a Saturday on a Monday. But today you got the storm that they but promised last week. Right? Yeah. storm they promised last week, so. <laughs> exactly. I don't worry about my business at all. Like slow, busy, it all averages out at the end. So you kind of you have a good positive mental attitude about all Definitely. this. Definitely. I mean, that's the only way to stay in business. You can't really worry about it. For NJTV News, I'm Mike Schneider.